Welcome back, Wildcats. I'm Olivia Bontempo, and you're watching WCAT's Weekly News. We are so excited to start slowly welcoming back all of our Wildcats to campus. The class of 2021 kicked off the week cheering on parents and students at the front gate. With noisemakers, signs, and beads, the seniors sure did give an energetic start to the school year. Here's WCAT's Namisha Iyer with more on how the seniors feel about being back on campus. Being back on campus has definitely been an adjustment for everyone to get used to. Socially distancing, we interviewed a couple of people asking them how they feel being back on campus. I'm very grateful for the opportunity to be back on campus and I really hope everyone stays healthy. Uh, I'm happy to be back at school, see all my friends. Um, it's good to get out of the house and gives me more of like a schedule. It sounds like people are happy to be back on campus. Everyone should continue to wear their masks and socially distance to help everyone stay healthy and safe. I'm Namisha Iyer, now back to you in the studio. Thanks guys. It sure is great to have everyone back to classes. In other news, the construction of Hawkins Hall and Campbell have finally come to an end. On the first day of school, the buildings were up and running for classes and lunch. From the classroom to the athletic fields and courts, Sports are finally starting to ramp back up for the Wildcats. Thanks, Olivia. Well, Wildcats, Westminster sports are back. Westminster Volleyball kicked off their season last night with a game against Pace, with the JV team beating the Knights 2-0 and the varsity playing them right after with a score of 3-0 beating the Knights as well. The team is doing a fantastic job, granted that they're having to play with masks on and adopting some new safety procedures. Today was a really fun day because not only did we have our first game of volleyball, but we also played pace at pace and beat them in three straight sets. And it was so much fun to finally be on the court again. And I think we played really hard and had lots of energy throughout the whole game. And also the people on the bench were always cheering, always loud. So all in all, it was just a really good day for volleyball. The Westminster cross country teams have been busy hitting the new trails all around campus. And they're looking to have a really competitive season. The boys teams have already held two inter-squad meets and both teams are looking to potentially take home the championship this year. Staying on the trails, congratulations to junior Matthew Fernando and freshman Grace Smith who both competed at the AAU National Championships. Fernando took home a first place in the 1500 and Smith won four individual medals. Congratulations runners. The Westminster softball team will be kicking off their season at home next Monday against Sandy Creek. Unfortunately, they won't be allowing spectators to attend, but it will be streamed on WCAT, so be sure to tune in. Westminster football will be coming back this year, and games are looking to start in late September. The team is having to undergo some new safety procedures and new things in practice to make sure they stay safe. But all things considered, it looks like it's going to be a fun season. I'm really excited about the season coming up. Hopefully we have it, that's first and foremost. But uh, we're starting practice next week, starting with just install on the field stuff, no pads, and then we'll get into pads later. So we'll see how it plays out. In other news, yesterday marked the 10th anniversary of WCAT's first ever webcast. Our crew broadcasted the Westminster versus Heard County's football scrimmage with four cameras and sideline announcing. Since then, WCAT has thrived under student leadership and taken home two National Student Production Award Emmys and an NFHS Network School Broadcast Program of the Year Award. But our biggest honor has been serving the Westminster community. We can't wait to start cheering on all of our Wildcats as WCAT begins to stream games. Now, here's a quick message from our co-chairs. Oh, sorry, didn't see you there. Anyway, Welcome back, Wildcats. We've hoped that you've had a great first few days of school. We know it's an extremely stressful time for everyone, so it's important that you try your best to support those around you and uplift your community. To encourage you to follow our COVID guidelines, I would like to share with you a poem I wrote myself. Roses are red, violets are blue, wear your mask and social distance too. 
Also, I'm not sure if you know, but yesterday was Jenna's birthday. So please kindly send her an email with a thoughtful and heartfelt poem like the one I wrote out above. Speaking of, how are you, Jenna? Hey, I'm doing great, Connor. Um, like Connor said, we all really, really want to stay in school this semester. So please social distance and wear your mask at all times. Um, also, make sure to fill out that survey if you haven't already um, to let your advisors know if there's anything you want um, in terms of uh, the COVID procedures that they've put in place or if you have any ideas on how to make that better. Um, also, last thing, sports are going on right now, so make sure to cheer on uh, the softball team, the volleyball team. I know they had a game against Pace and uh, the cross country team for their upcoming meets. All right, thanks, go Cats. Thanks, Connor and Jenna. We hope everyone has had an awesome first week back at school. And remember to social distance and don't forget your masks. That's all for this week. I'm Olivia Bontempo. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week on WCAT's Weekly News.